Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. If you double a number four times, the result is 80. What is the number? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like, and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, now before I show you the answer, I want all of you out there to think that indeed you can solve this problem because there's all different sorts of ways you can approach a math problem. Now, I'm actually going to be using algebra to solve this particular problem, but you don't have to use algebra, okay? So don't ever sell yourself short when you look at a problem. You're like, oh, I don't get this. I can't figure this out. Well, you know, at least try. And uh, one more time, the problem is, if you double a number four times, the result is 80. What is this number? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is five. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you figure this out, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100%. And multiple stars, you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a math whiz and you were able to solve a math war problem using a method that worked for you, okay? So this is the great thing about mathematics. There is different approaches you can take to solve a problem. Now, if you tried this problem, but you didn't get the right answer, well, that is, uh, you know, outstanding as well, because, you know, in math, you're, not, you're never going to get any, you're never going to get better at anything, particularly in math, if you don't try, okay? So the worst thing you can do when you have a problem is just to look at it and be like, well, I'm not going to do uh, anything, you know, try to at least see if your approach you know, maybe it was kind of going in the right direction. But let's go ahead and get into this particular problem. Again, I'm going to uh, be using algebra, but you didn't have to use algebra to solve this problem. You could use different uh, techniques because the numbers are rather uh, easy to deal with. But if the numbers were uh, more challenging, more complicated, well, then you're going to want to use algebra. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and recognize that we are dealing with a math word problem. So always be patient with the process and I like to use the rule of three to kind of force me to really understand the problem, kind of take in all the information and think about what is the best strategy. And of course, really understand what the question is saying. So here uh, we have a number, right? So we're doubling this number four times. What is the number? Well, anytime you have a kind of a, a word or a phrase in a math word problem and you're looking for a quote unquote number, a value, well, this is a perfect uh, situation to use a variable, okay, to represent that number. And of course, if we're going to use a variable, well, then we are going to be using algebra. So I'm going to let X uh, uh, represent this particular number. And then from there, we need to kind of understand the situation. Then ultimately, if I have a variable, the only way I can solve for that variable is to build an equation. So let's go ahead and model the problem by first establishing that we're going to let x equal this quote unquote number. All right, so this is what our variable is going to be equal to. Now we have to kind of think about this problem, right? So, well, if we have this number, okay, and we're gonna call that number x, we're going to double this number four times, okay? So what does that look like? Well, let's go ahead and double this number four times right now. So here is our number x. If we double this number one time, and so, for example, if I have three, if I double three, that would be six. So doubling means we're going to multiply by two, right? So here is our first double. So that gets us to 2x. Our second double is going to be 2x times 2. All right, we're going to double this thing right here. So 2x times, uh, 2x times 2 is going to be 4x, right? Because 2 times 2x. Remember, you multiply the coefficients. So 2 times 2 is 4x. So this is our second double. So we're going to continue to double here, right? So we're going to double this thing four times. 
This was our first time. This was our second time. So let's double uh, again. So 4x times 2 is 8x. That's our third double. And then we, uh, we're going to double one more time to get our um, doubling four times, right? So 8x times 2 gets us to 16x. All right, so this was our fourth time that we doubled this number, x. So one more time. So x, this is our first double, 2x, 4x, 8x, 16x. Okay, so the result of doubling this number four times is this variable expression, 16x. Now, this is not going to do us any good unless, again, we can build an equation. And the only way we're going to be able to build an, equa an equation is to go back to the problem. And the problem uh, states the following, right? If you double a number four times, the result, okay, is, and the magic word here is this word right uh, here. This is an awesome word, word in algebra. Word problems is because is is always the equal sign. OK, so if we double a number four times, the result is so this is going to be translated as equal sign is equal to 80. OK, so we double this number, OK, X four times. We got 16 X right here. Right. So this is what we got when we double this number uh, four times 16 X. And the result is 80. OK, so the next step here is going to be uh, to solve this equation. And then, of course, we'll check our work just to make sure that we did this right. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't that important, not uh, just for myself, but for my mission on YouTube. What I'm really trying to do is reach as many people as possible that could benefit from my math instruction. And, uh, you know, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over uh, 2,000 plus videos. I am truly committed to this. I, I don't stop. Okay. I produce uh, videos from basic math to advanced math and everything in between because I want to share as much that of, uh, you know, all the things that I've learned in mathematics from, you know, years and years ago, not only being a math student, but particularly being a math teacher. Okay. Because I want to really get as many people to be successful or support as many people that want to learn math because it's tough to get great math instruction these days. There's so much uh, distraction. But anyways, I can only reach these people like yourself if my YouTube channel grows. So I need you to subscribe and then hit that like button as well. Matter of fact, every person that does uh, subscribe to my channel, and right now I think I have like 514,000 subscribers, which is crazy, but I really perceive each subscriber as my own kind of like math student, okay? And I look at YouTube as my virtual classroom. Anyways, I could definitely use your support, but let's go ahead and move on to the rest of this problem. Okay, so here was our, um, uh, our equation. Remember, we're using algebra here, and we have x. x is our number, right? So we're going to double that number uh, four times. The result is 16x, but the result is 80. Okay, the result is equal to 80, so we have 16x is equal to 80. So to solve this equation for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 16. Okay, so 80 divided by 16 is 5. So x is equal to 5. Now, um, let's suppose we're like, oh, is this right? It looks pretty good, but we can easily check this. Let's go ahead and do this right now. So if our number is 5, and if we double that number four times, is the result going to be 80? Well, let's go ahead and double 5, right? So let's start with 5. We'll double it once. That's going to be 10. Okay, so let's double again. That would be 20 because 10 uh, doubled, right? 10 times 2. And then we'll double 20 again. Uh, we'll double this number again, so 20 times 2 is 40, and then we'll double one more time, and look, the result indeed is 80. Okay, so a lot of you could have taken all different sorts of approaches. You could actually have started with 80 and worked your way backwards, or you, kind of, you could have just kind of guessed and checked. Maybe you said, oh, let me take 3 and double 3, okay? You're looking for some sort of integer value here. So I would have been, oh, that's 6. All right, that would have been 12. And you're like, well, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to 80. Uh, you know, there's all different sorts of approaches. So even if you use trial and error or your own creative process, that is fantastic, okay? Of course, I'm going to be a big proponent of using algebra because algebra is such a clean, direct uh, tool to solve all sorts of uh, math problems. By the way, if you like these type of problems, I have a ton of additional algebra word problems on my YouTube channel. 
Uh, but if you are learning algebra, okay, or if you want to kind of relearn mathematics, uh, check out uh, all my courses. I'm going to leave um, the links to my main courses in the description of this video to include things like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, geometry, pre-calculus, etc. But uh, if you are getting back into math or if you want to kind of um, brush up on your math skills, check out my new course. It's called my Math Skills uh, rebuild a course. Okay, you'll find it. Uh, you'll find the link to that in the description. But I'm really um, uh, proud of this course. Okay, and a lot of people are taking advantage of it because it's kind of a mixture of of, uh, of uh, levels of math in one course. I started with basic arithmetic. So in other words, you don't have to know any algebra or any advanced math to do well and relearn math, or maybe you learn it for the first time if you've been out of school for many years. So you start with, well, we start with basic mathematic, mathematics, arithmetic. We don't take uh, anything for granted. We don't assume that, hey, you remember it all, this stuff about fractions and place values. So we start with that, or I start with that, and this is full instruction, full complete you know, math instruction supported with a ton of example problems. But then we move into a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, some basic trigonometry, and even some probability and statistics. This is a self-paced course. So if you want to learn math for the first time or really relearn it and strengthen your math skills again, this is the perfect course for you. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.